Today I'm testing these 25 pin mini solderless breadboard nice little things I found on banggood.com and they were really cheap and I didn't really know what they were for so I just bought a set of seven of these colorful things and uh, today we're going to test them and see what they are good for. So here they are, seven in a um, plastic bag. And first of all, I'm going to do some measurements with a multimeter to try and find out how these contacts are interconnected. So just connect one of the wires of the multimeter with the breadboard and see what it does. It turns out that um, five pins are connected in a row and there are five of these rows, very simple, could have thought that. So this is uh, the schematic, this is what it looks like, five by five, five rows of five interconnected pins. Now I thought what are we going to do with this nice little thing, if it's good for anything at all. So I made up this very tiny circuit which only needs five nets with a transistor and um, a, a touch switch like we used to have them in the 70s. You see, it even works. So this is what you can do with a nice little, little, very little, tiny breadboard. Like this one from Banggood. It's cheap and it's small. It's not suitable for integrated circuits and has only five nets. That's it for today. Thank you.